hey, um, keynoters, if I could just have like five minutes of your time, um, I just want to make sure you guys understand kind of the afternoon on day one where you're going to be speaking. So keep in mind you're a team of six. So I just want to make it seem as cohesive as possible um, when you guys are all up there kind of telling uh, the story for Rise of the Digital Native. Um, so what I'm going to do is quickly, and again, that's also, guys, why I wanted to kind of have that quick 30-minute lunch so you guys could just all meet each other quickly face-to-face uh, -face, uh, before we'll have a quick bite to eat, uh, etc. And I'm all going to be sending you a menu. Uh, soon to, t to make your selection. So when we get in the um, lunchroom um, before the keynotes, all the, the food will already be on the table per your um, um, selections. So um, just quickly, so Jessica from Forrester is kicking it off with, am I really reaching Gen Z on social media and do they really care? So I don't think I really need to explain anything more about what her um, uh, topic is going to dive into. Uh, she'll be talking about um, who they are and are they really wanting to engage with brands on social media and what does the research show there. So I, I'm thrilled with that. So Jessica will will kick it off um, kind of setting the, I, I think, kind of the foundation in a way. Um, Maya from um, IBM will come up next. And again, she specializes in a lot of internal reorganization and, and, and retooling at IBM uh, to deal with the disruption that's kind of occurring and how companies are having to change the way they operate. So hers is from traditional to modern marketing powered by data focused on outcomes. And she's gonna kind of talk about the journey that she's helping IBM make um, as they kind of reconfigure um, uh, the, the way they operate in this new world. So I think Maya, you know, when Jessica kind of hands it off to you, you can basically, I think, start it out something along the lines of, you know, we understand, you know, from Jessica, millennials and Gen Zs are totally different and they're causing disruptions in the way we communicate with them as brands, um, but it's also affecting the way organizations internally have to operate um, as well to be very nimble for these for these new times. And let me blah blah blah. So I think that will work out well for you to pick it up from Jessica. Um, Jennifer from um, Salesforce.com. She was originally with that org um, for the longest time, dealing with universities. Will get up, and she's in a focus really on universities and students and that relationship within the way we communicate with and culminate those relationships. So hers is titled Designing for Life, Digital Native Relationships from Cradle to Grave. So I think, Jennifer, when you get up, you can say, you know, let me focus on one specific segment here uh, for the audience and let me talk about university and student relationships. And I think, Jennifer, you could even say I was with the .org organization for many, many years and, and have great insight into um, you know where where we, where universities are effective, not effective, and and how you know these relationships differ in this sort of sort of setting. And if you want, you can certainly say you know and and you know I felt that this was a, a good topic since in fact this conference is a production of a public university. Um, it would be nice to to touch on that segment in particular. Um, and then then we basically take a about a 25 minute break somewhere around there. We haven't decided quite yet. Um, and then Mo, you are up next, Maurice Dawson. So for those who don't know him, he is our cybersecurity specialist here at the university, does tons of speaking, has written many books, travels internationally. Um, and he is going to get up and talk about hacking privacy and security in a hyper-connected society. Um, so I think, Mo, you know, you could pick it up like, you know, you could, you know, you know, say hello to, to all the marketers. And I know you guys are capturing tons of data out there on consumers at every click, view, you know, turn that they make as, as many other industries are as well and then kind of work it in that way. Um, and then I'm kind of excited that you're going to also touch on the fact that the unknowing consumer of everyday products needs to be aware of what it means to have everything kind of captured um, through allowing all that internet connectivity, which, which is kind of great and it brings it back to a consumer discussion as well. So just keep in mind, Mo, that, that you're talking to 
mostly an audience full of marketers, although many of them are very detail-oriented with respect to data and technology as they have to be today. Um, so, so, that, so that's great for you. You'll be picking it up right after the uh, little break. And then you'll be handing it over to James, um, who is at Microsoft, um, and he will be kind of talking about the Internet of Things in the future. So I think, James, you got an easy handoff from Maurice. It's like, okay, let's talk about how far we can take this and where are we taking all this um, with respect to this interconnectivity and data, uh, et cetera. So I think that's a nice handoff for you to take from Maurice. And then John from um, Facebook wraps it up as the last keynote, and it's what does it take to engage a millennial. So I think, John, you could just basically say, you know, let's take it back full circle to the beginning here, and let, let's talk about those millennials and Gen Zs that Jessica was talking about, and let's specifically focus on what, what, what is the kind of content that they do need um, to, to be engaged, and where are we seeing this go? Um, so I think that's a great way uh, to do that. So hopefully that helps you guys. You guys might want to go to the website. Um, you guys are all, so if you click on speakers on the website, um, you guys are all listed in the top two rows. You can click, you can see what each of you guys are talking about and would love for you at any point in your talk to be able to reference back to somebody else's that just shows that we've threaded the story really well. I'm excited. The other thing I just wanna make sure guys is we've gotta to stick to the 20 minute time frame. Um, we have a very, very tight schedule and we also have an opening party that kicks off at 4.30, so Momentum Worldwide. There are, and they do, I think they're headquartered in New York, um, somewhere in Soho. Uh, they also have a large office here in St. Louis, and they just moved literally right across the street from Union Station, which I'm excited, and they have offered to host the opening night party for us. So um, really excited about, about that. So we've got to stick to the 20 minutes, so just make sure you, you do, um, and hopefully you're going to allow us to release the uh, PowerPoints that you're doing. Um, I know consent forms are coming in. I think Sarah is taking care of those. Um, and uh, we'll kind of uh, take it from there. But that's really it. That's all I wanted to say. Um, and again, whether you guys follow the format of my opening and closing PowerPoint slides, I'll leave that up to you. Not really as critical for uh, the keynotes because you guys just need to jump right into your first slide, et cetera. So you will all be on stage. You'll have wireless mics. Um, you will have a clicker um, for you to control the presentation. Um, so if you're wondering about the setup, that's how it's going to be. I, I will have a podium off to the side, but um, more than likely I'm assuming you guys are going to want to be walking back and forth on the, um, on the stage. Uh, Vernon, I think, has reached out to each of you. He will be introducing you, so he is the MC. Um, so just make sure you get back to him exactly how you guys want to be um, how you want to be introduced, okay? And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you guys, really looking forward. This is going to be an exciting conference. I know you guys are going to absolutely love it, um, and I'll see you in like 10 days, um, if you can believe it. Okay, thanks. Talk soon.